Well, the project for the new year has begun, and what better way to kick it off than where it all began? G.I. Joe, the class of 1991. Stay tuned. Hello, everybody, and welcome back to my channel. This is Paul Knapp coming to you once again from the Man Cave, and we are about to start this massive undertaking of organizing over 450 Hasbro G.I. Joe figures. There are some rules, so I'm gonna cover those for you. So, rule number one, they must be Hasbro made G.I. Joes. I know there's a lot of other companies out there that make 12 inch action figures, but for our collection here, they must be Hasbro made G.I. Joe figures. Rule number two, no custom made G.I. Joe figures can be included and no added gear. In other words, when these were taken out of the package, the gear that was in the package was put on these figures and that is it. No added gear to any of these G.I. Joes. Rule number three, they have to be G.I. Joes that were offered to the general public. In other words, these should all have been right off the shelf, Target, Walmart, Toys R Us. No exclusives. In other words, G.I. Joe conventions where they only made so many um, figures. I do have some of those and I might talk about them, but for our purposes as far as categorizing these figures, they must be figures that were offered to the general public where anybody could get them. And last but not least, these do not count as G.I. Joe figures, okay? Hard plastic, only two points of articulation, okay? And uh, only one piece of gear that's removable, no. No, these guys are goners. I want figures that were like this, like we remember back in the day, okay? More than two or three points of articulation. And that's it. Those are the rules. So, with that, we're gonna go ahead and get started where it all began with this guy, 1991 Duke. So I have to give a big shout out to the Skull Reviews, Mr. Peter Buckley, for helping me out with this. I had a lot of confusion doing some research. Apparently, for the longest time, I thought this was the original vintage 1991 Target exclusive Duke. Uh, however, it was not. This is the 1992 Duke. This one here would have been version one or 1.5, I think uh, a lot of people go with the uh, first one that came out in 1991. So the way I'm categorizing these guys, once I get them out and um, unboxed and on the shelf, I made little tags. So you can see here, this will be figure number one. 1991 is the year. And I'm either gonna put them on their feet or around their wrist and keep them in order. And that's how I'm categorizing these. So I'm gonna go ahead and get this guy out of the box and show them to you. I'm not gonna go in depth on my reviews on these figures. Actually, the skull reviews, Peter, he did a really good one um, showing the differences between uh, 1991 and 1992. Also, another good friend of mine, Johnny Cedric at uh, MIB, Mitten Box. If you haven't heard of him, definitely check him out. He did another good review on Duke from 1991. So I'm just going to show this one to you, and we're going to call this episode number one, Class of 1991. And the only figure that came out in 1991, as you know, was a Target exclusive Duke figure. Shortly after Desert Storm, Desert Shield ended, uh, Target made some type of deal with uh, Hasbro and said they wanted to bring back the 12-inch figure. 12 inch figures haven't been around since 1976, I believe is 
uh, when they stopped with the 12-inch figure. Uh, so this was the, the one figure that kicked off all the new 12-inch figures, uh, even till today. So I'm going to get this guy opened up and do a little comparison of 91 versus 92. All right, so here he is unboxed and ready for review. He does have the same gear that the 1992 version has. The laser pistol, I guess, or, or excuse me, the laser rifle, which uh, has a button on it, which used to flash and make sounds. Neither one of these work. Did come with a sidearm pistol, and they both have a knife and sheath. Both have the dog tags. Both have fuzzy hair, backpack. Um, but you can tell, let me get you a little closer up here, the insignia, the G.I. Joe one, the newer G.I. Joe, I should say, is on the 92 figure and not on the original Duke figure from 91. Also, the face sculpt, you can tell here, is definitely different. Does have the scar, but the face sculpt is totally different. Also, this one has a sergeant's rank on the side, and this one does not. There's no rank or anything no insignia on the opposite side. So, um, so yeah, definitely. Uh, if it wasn't for Peter Buckley, I would have started this project off all wrong. The one on the right would have been my. Uh, my 91 figure and the one on the left is, is the, uh, the one I never had. So thank you, sir, for helping me out with this project. Two other differences that I just noticed. One, the helmet does not have a covering on it, a cloth covering like the 92 version. It's just plain tan. The other difference is the hand grip. You can tell on the 1992 version is definitely closed where the right hand is much more open uh, but other than that um, they could pass and if you didn't know any better you would think uh, you had the, the correct one for the right year but uh, so he has his tag on it he is now number one 1991 and we are going to continue with 1992 coming to you soon thanks for watching hope you guys enjoy these and if there's any corrections that I need to make, or if there's G.I. Joe's from a certain year that I cover that I forgot or missed, please let me know.